Hello and welcome. This is Nancy with Stamping Before Anything Else. Today is Monday and that means it's Make It In A Minute Monday. Today we're going to be using the products that are in front of you right here. We're going to use the Ornate Style. We're going to be using the Big Flower. Ornate Thank You. We're going to be using Your Kindness Is So Loved out of that stamp set. We're also going to be using the Stitched Rectangles. We're going to be using the second one here. And we're also going to be using, in the ornate layers, this die right here. Okay, we're going to set those off to the side. For the, today's project, we're going to be using the Rich Razzleberry cardstock. And you're going to need a card base that measures 8.5 by 5.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. You're going to need a 4 and a quarter by 5.5 that we're going to use for this particular die. You're also going to need a scrap piece of crumb cake that we're going to use for this. And you're also going to need a piece of whisper white that measures two and one eighth by three and a half. And you're also going to be using this embossing folder that goes with that ornate bundle as well. Now, the first thing that we're going to do so we're gonna bring in our trimmer. Is what I'd like to do is we're gonna take our score line is right here. We're gonna take and cut off about a half inch on here. All right, so we got a half inch cut off here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our die cut and embossing system and do it all at once. So we're going to take and place, see how this folds right here? We're going to place that in the folder and we're going to emboss it. So when it comes out, it's going to have this design on it. We're also going to be taking and die cutting with this. And we're also going to die cut the, this out all at once. So I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. Now, that piece, the card base should look like this because we just wanted to emboss the front side. We have our piece here that we got all die cut out. We have our whisper white piece and our crumb cake piece. And then we're also going to be needing a little piece of this ribbon. It's part of the Magnolia ribbon combo pack. This particular one is the crumb cake and the white and it also comes with a thin green. It's a duo pack and it's on sale right now for $5.40. It's on the retirement list, so you're going to have to uh, purchase it if you really like it. You want to get it while supplies last. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our flower image onto the Whisper White. We're going to be using Rich Razzleberry as our ink today. And voila, there's our image. Now we're going to set this aside. And while we got the ink out, we're going to also put our sentiment on here as well. And I already got that on a block. Your kindness is so loved. All right. Next thing is we're going to assemble. Now we're just going to use our regular adhesive, whatever your favorite is. We're going to place this right on the front. All right, next thing, we're gonna pop this up on dimensionals. Now, I'm not gonna put any on this edge because it's gonna hang over the edge right here. Okay, now we're ready to put this on the front. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line these dotted marks right here, these dots, and I'm gonna line it right up on the edge over here, making sure that I have enough room at the top and at the bottom. Next, we're going to take this little ribbon right here and we're gonna staple it right onto the front of this tag right here. Now, if you don't have a regular stapler, um, you could always use adhesive and put it underneath it. I just happen to have the old retired Stampin' Up one and we're gonna put it right on top of here. Last but not least, I'm gonna take our Wink of Stella all right, perfect. So now what that Wink Estella does, it's normally clear. However, what it's doing is it's picking up some of that ink. And voila, we are done. Super simple, super easy. Just a couple die cuts and a little bit of ink and you got your pretty card. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more projects like this. And also please make sure to join us over on our blog for the measurements of a blog posting and all the products that we're using this. Have a wonderful day. Take care.